Now, one thing uh, about working with Boolean algebra is that you need to think about the commutative laws. All right. Now, what this is saying here, for example, is if you've got A and B, all right, then it is the same as B and A. If you've got A or B, it's the same as B or A. All right. So you will need to think about this when you are putting together or when you are simplifying your Boolean algebra, all right? Because these laws state that the order of operand, all right, does not matter, all right? For example, you may have seen, think about it in maths. If you have three times five, it is exactly the same as five times three, all right? So have a think about that, all right? Then you've got the associative laws, all right? And this law states that when operators are the same order, they are applied in, it doesn't matter. For example, all right, if I have, uh, let's go for three times five times four, okay? If I did three times five times four, okay, that's going to give me the same answer. So when they're the same, when all the operators are the same, so when all the operators are the same, the order does not matter. So you can see here, same operator, same operator, therefore the order doesn't matter. And if you can remember that law, that is going to help you. So we've got commutative where the actual order does not matter, all right? Where, and then we've got associative where all the operators are the same the order doesn't matter. So when all the operators are the same, the order doesn't matter. So that's another video to help you along the way.